वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल डी एस टेक मिरर आई एम बैक विद माई न्यू वीडियो शो हाइट एस पी एफ एक्स वेब पार्ट बेस्ड ऑन यूजर परमिशन देर कुड बी अस इन एरियो वे यू वॉन्ट टू शो योर वेब पार्ट ओनली टू योर साइट एडमिन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू अचीव इट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड दिस एस पी एफ एक्स वेब पार्ट दिस इज अ टू डू वेब पार्ट so we will test we will test this spfx web part in sharepoint workbench we will test the entire functionality how to show your web part to the admins or how to hide your web part from the normal users we will test all this functionality in sharepoint workbench so how to go to sharepoint workbench so for that just go to your sharepoint site and so just add underscore layouts slash 15 slash workbench dot aspx so this is a sharepoint workbench i will add my web part over here my web part name is hands on one so over here i can see my web part so let me add some to do for me let's say to do one i press enter it got added let's add my second to do to do two let's say to do three now if any of my checklist is completed i can delete it i can undo it as well so basically this is the functionality of my web part now we will see how to hide this web part from the normal user or how to show this web part only to admin one more thing when you are running sharepoint workbench just make sure your local host is running as well so over here my local host was already running so i am running my local host in the terminal so over here you can see it is already running so let's see now we will see how to hide the web part hide the web part from non admin users so first step would be to import microsoft web part microsoft page contact class so for that i will import it from it will give me intelligence microsoft i will see there is my page contact class slash sp hyphen this is my hp page context class out of it i will import so it is giving me various options like sp field sp list so i need sp permission so i have imported it sp permission now let's explore this sp permission class so if i type sp permission so let's see this class it has various properties like manage alerts manage list manage permission permissions it means like user has managed permissions user can manage the list user can manage the alerts user can manage web so all these are related to the permission of the current logged in users open items user has the permission to open item if you go down i'll see these are all view permission user is having user can view the versions user can view pages user can view list items also there is one more permission which i would like to highlight is full mask it means user has all the permissions and there is empty mask it means user is not having any permissions so we will make use of all these properties to achieve a requirement now to check for the current logged in user permission what i'll do i'll use this dot context we'll go to page context to get the current logged in user permission dot i'll go to web this is the web object then i have over here you can see i have permissions so permissions dot so over here we have methods so i will use has all permission to check whether the current logged in user is the admin of the site or not has all permissions so over here you can see it will use sp permission object so i will do i and we have already imported this sp permission class so sp permission dot and i told you for admin we will use full mask so full mask so it will return as the boolean value whether the user if user is admin it will give us true if user is not the admin it will give us false so i'll install it in let's say admin user so now this is my admin user so what i will do i will check the value of this admin user in my browser console so let's console dot log admin user 
my terminal is already running so i'll go to the sharepoint workbench this is my sharepoint workbench this is my web part i will refresh my page and it will give me the value so it is giving me false so the current logged in user is not the admin so now we will see how to hide my web part so we are in the inside this render method and this is my dom this is the dom which is rendering over here so i want to hide it so what i'll do if admin user and i will put this dom inside this if block so now again we will go and refresh our workbench so my changes are not getting reflected my i can see this web part is still uh, visible to me so because because i am not the admin to this particular poc site so let's refresh it again so yes now we can see this web part is not visible for me the constant admin user which i am using over here i have put its value in the console uh, over here from here you can see so it is giving me false so the web part should not be visible for me and we can see it is working so to test it again what i will do i will try to add the web part again so my web part name is hands on one and again like like again it is giving me false and web part is not getting added for me to test this web part now i will check for another permission level to test this web part now i will check for another permission level so what i'll do this dot context dot page contact dot i have to check for web dot the same code dot has yeah permission dot has permission sp permission dot i'll check for view pages i'll put its value in console before that i'll create a new constant constant uh, read user a user who can read permission console read user so first let's check the value for the read user i will refresh the page so i can see it is giving me for admin it is giving me false and for view pages it is giving me true so why it is giving me these multiple values because i have added these three web parts on my page so for all the three web parts it is giving me two values so for admin it is false and for view pages it is true so now let me modify my code what i will do for i will put over here read user so for read user my web part should be visible i will go back and refresh my page it's still the same so i will refresh it again just to make sure that my code changes should get reflected uh, let me refresh it again because sometimes a terminal takes time because at the back end gulzar command is running so yeah we can see so for admin user it is giving false for read user it is giving me true so my web part is visible if i see my code for read user uh we are rendering my web part dom in our html so in this video we saw how to hide and show web part based on user permission so guys before we come to an end of this video i would like to summarize uh, what we have learned today so we saw like how to hide your web part so for that first of all we have to import this service microsoft sp page context we have to import the sp permission class then using this sp permission class we have various properties which i showed you full mask is one of them view page is one of them and various other like manage web permission manage sub web permission then we will use this uh, the, the out of the box context in spfx which is there this dot context dot page context dot permission and uh, has permission and this one more method has any permission all these three method require sp permission object so we will pass them so in return it will return as a boolean value whether the user has that required permission and based on that we can hide our web part over here to hide the web part we can put the conditional conditions for for the dom of our web part so i hope you like this video if you like the video please subscribe to the channel like and share the video much love
कीप लर्निंग